welcome to my channel. I'm Lisa. Did you know scientists have finally figured out how to have the perfect day? Now, when I looked into this, I was very surprised to find that it didn't start by having breakfast in bed with Brad Pitt. What I did learn is that there is a best time of day to do just about anything, no matter how big or small. It's all about taking advantage of your body's natural rhythms and functions. It seems that every hour of the day is the perfect time to do something. I was intrigued by this idea and couldn't wait to try it out. So starting tomorrow, I'm going to follow their guidelines to the letter, or should I say hour, and try to have the perfect day thanks to science. early in the morning before breakfast primes the body for an all-day fat burn and boosts energy levels. Eight o'clock is a great time to check social media. A study of over 500 million tweets showed users were far more likely to tweet happier messages at this time. Aww, thanks Beyonce! Your Instagram feed is pretty awesome too. 9am is the perfect time to eat a big breakfast because the digestive system is at its most efficient. And since metabolism is more active now than at any other time during the day, fat absorbed from food is more likely to be burned than stored. 10am is a great time to tackle difficult tasks because short-term memory and ability to concentrate are at their absolute peak. With that in mind, I'm going to try something I've been wanting to do for ages. Origami. Perfect. Why don't you look like that? 11 a.m. is when our immune systems are at their lowest and our white blood cells that fight infection and disease are less active at this time. So avoid people with coughs and colds and worse. Hey honey, how are you going? Mm. Mm. Don't talk to me then. So what have you got planned for the rest of the day? You're not sick, are you? Oh, don't breathe on me. Oh, oh, I'm going upstairs. Don't follow me. One o'clock is the perfect time for lunch. Eating a meal four hours after breakfast keeps blood sugar levels stable, which prevents hunger spikes. Especially if you eat a burger. Right, half past one. Time to make an important decision. You should leave difficult decision making until just after you've eaten, when you're refreshed and your energy levels are high. Okay, let's get to it. <laughs> yada yada yada. Maybe this one? Not that there's anything wrong with that. Decision time. I'm the master of my domain. Mm. Sorry, Jerry. 2 p.m. and my body's priority now is digesting my lunch, which is going to cause my energy levels to drop and make me feel drowsy. No wonder so many countries have an afternoon siesta. Sounds like a fine idea to me. Come on, guys. Who wants a nap? 3 p.m. is when our endorphins hit their max. Endorphins are our body's natural painkillers, so it's the best time to do something painful. And I know just the thing. Leg waxing. I'm so glad scientists have found a pain-free way for us to wax. 
This isn't gonna hurt at all. <gasps> oh, shut the front door! <sighs> Four o'clock is a great time to do housework because hand-eye coordination, mood and adrenaline levels are all very high at this time. This means you're more likely to get your whole house sparkling before you burn out. So, let's get cleaning. Let's clean the house, guys. Are you ready? Our brains behave more creatively later in the day when we're tired. A distracted and fatigued brain thinks more creatively than a clear one which thinks logically. So honey, mm -hmm. we need a really funny skit for next week's video. Right. Do you want to brainstorm? Sure. Okay, alright. So, um... Oh, I know. Seven p.m. is a good time to eat dinner because the body's starting to relax due to the melatonin it's producing in preparation for sleep. Nine pm is the perfect time to have a nice, relaxing bath. The drop in body temperature after a warm bath makes you feel drowsy, which is going to help you get a really good night's sleep. Well, I've just had the perfect day, mm, kind of. <laughs> thank you, science, and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. And I'd love you to subscribe to my channel just by clicking the red subscribe button below. I bring out new videos every fabulous Friday and every Wednesday I'm helping Mr. Cameraman with his weight loss challenge. So don't forget to join us for those as well. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye! So! Ah! <laughs> so! <laughs> so!